I'm Lucy Fink, and this week is five days of beauty experiments. After trying five days of total skincare, I realized that you guys respond very well to content that's about makeup and beauty care and different unique methods to take care of your skin and your body. Working at Refinery29, I sit in the same office as some of the world's best beauty editors. Maria Del Russo is our beauty editor here. <laughs> she has been known to try some pretty wacky beauty experiments. I'm the one on the beauty team who kind of does all the weird experiments and stuff. All in the name of her job. The craziest thing I've ever done has probably been I got this massage before she like oils you up. She actually bites your back. I sat down with her this morning. Take a look. So this week, I'm gonna give you full liberty to send me out on five assignments for five crazy beauty experiments. Well, today is Monday, so day number one, and I'm sending you for a bird poop facial. Bird poop? <laughs> the geisha facial, or the bird poop facial, is a Japanese treatment that, for lack of a better term, smears bird <laughs> on your face. I'm going to apply nightingale droppings with rice bran. It's a powder and I'm going to add a little bit of water, make it like a paste. I understand how at first glance that can be kind of alarming, but these bird droppings are sanitized beforehand using ultraviolet light and they're actually taken from a rare breed of bird that eat only seeds and berries, so it's entirely vegan poop. It's supposed to help your cells and revitalize you, and it was luxurious and gourmet, and there's really no other way to describe it. On Tuesday, I'm going to send you into a sensory deprivation room. When it comes to going inside tight spaces, I'm a little bit claustrophobic. So I chose to float inside one of the flotation suites instead of in one of the capsules. First thing you do is take a shower to rinse all the dirt off your body, and then you open a door to reveal this shining blue room. I've never been to the Dead Sea. I've never floated in any type of water. I almost just didn't even believe that I would float. You have the option to turn the lights to different color settings. You can turn the stars on the ceiling on or off. Or if you're feeling real risky, you could just turn the lights out entirely. And if you choose to do that, there's actually no visual stimuli all around you, so the only thing you can think about is turning your attention inward. You can't really tell where the water ends and where your body begins. I do think that this experience was probably the closest thing I'm ever gonna experience to what it actually felt like to be in the womb. On Wednesday, you get to stay at home, but you're gonna do a beer hair mask. Beer? Beer. Am I gonna get drunk? You're gonna get totally bombed. <laughs> okay, I know it sounds weird, but it is said that beer is good for your hair. Apparently the malt and the yeast help make it shiny and stronger. The B vitamins stimulate hair growth. Maria suggested that I use a very hoppy beer because apparently hops contain silica, which help to fortify and strengthen the hair. Hoppy beer is happy beer. Truthfully, my bathroom smelled like a frat house for the remainder of the day, and I just don't know if it's something I'm interested in trying more than once, but please, by all means, comment below and let me know if it's not a waste of a beer. If it's actually good for my hair, I will do it. I think my hair came out looking pretty good. What do you think? Hmm? Hmm? On Thursday, it's actually my favorite treatment of the bunch. I'm sending you to a Moroccan hammam. Today, it was time to get my full body treated at once. I really like trying beauty treatments from other cultures because I think for just an instant, it lets you see what it's like to live like someone across the world. Hammam is a ritual that's thousands of years old. This particular treatment that I did today was derived from ancient Roman and Greek practices whereby you lie on a heated marble slab and another person comes in the room and just entirely scrubs you down. She used a black olive scrub followed by a clay mask. And at the very end, because it's really hot in there and you don't want your body to go into shock the moment you leave, you get cool water thrown at you. So that's a nice awakening there at the end. Sure, I live in 2016, but this is an ancient practice that now I've carried forward thousands of years into my current lifetime. And now I get to share it with all of you. So look at us making history and keeping it up. On Friday, you've been telling me that your nails have been feeling a little brittle and weak, so I'm actually gonna have you do a garlic nail mask. Ooh. Mm. 
morning. It's Friday! The garlic nail treatment that I made today used chopped up cloves of garlic, olive oil, and petroleum jelly. Mixed together, blended really quickly in a blender, and then pour it into a bowl. I applied the mixture to my nails with a cotton pad, let it sit on my nails for 20 minutes, and then rinsed it off with soap and water. The smell is pretty much gone, if I'm being honest. I've heard that this garlic nail treatment is supposed to help strengthen your nails and help them grow faster, but of course I'm not gonna know if that's true from just having done it one time. So I saved the leftover mixture in a container and I plan on using that every day for the next few weeks so I will get back to you on my nail growth. This week gave me a real taste of what life as a beauty blogger would be like. I think I like it. <laughs> it was a hoot. I'm feeling smooth, I think I'm looking clear, and truthfully, I'm smelling very interesting. My hair smells really interesting. Comment below letting me know the strangest beauty routine you've ever tried. Maybe I'll give it a go. And let me know what you think I should try next time on Try Living with Lucy. Hey YouTube, Lucy Fink here. Do you wanna see me try taking five classes in five days? I learned a lot. Click right here to watch that episode, here to subscribe to Refinery29 on YouTube for more on this channel, and last but not least, right here, the little I, if you want to see more on this playlist where I try things for five days at a time.